everybody. It's Empress Ares, and we are jumping right back into the Final Fantasy XIV story. I hope everyone had a good new year. I hope everyone's staying warm. I know it's crazy cold outside, but let's just jump in here. So I've been doing some of the quests off screen and we found Hian. We've actually gotten ourselves involved in kind of a little bit of a war. So the aura of the Azim steps, or I'm sorry, Azim steps, let me not butcher the pronunciation of this area. They get involved in a type of war every few years in which they fight for control of the area. And Hian was actually injured and taken in by one of the tribes by the name of the Mole clan, um, spelled M-O-L. And as kind of a way of paying them back, he's going to actually enter this competition called the Nodum and win it. And somehow, by winning this competition, he hopes that he'll be able to convince the Aura of the Azim Steps to fight for him in Doma. But there's some complicated shit, and it has something to do with this motherfucker, who is a prick, and I'll show you what I mean by this. You'll see. Two banners. So it's not just Oranir we're dealing with. Most radiant brother Magni, we have brought the ones you seek. You conquered Bardem's metal. As warriors of the Mall, I. You were the Han here, yes? Why have you summoned us? Mayhap to propose a joint endeavor? Nay, Doman, we shall not speak as equals. Born of the sun are Oranir, and born of the earth are you. When I learned of trespassers, I bade my warriors take their measure to flay them if they failed. But if by the grace of Azim they should survive their trials and emerge anointed, then bring them hither to pay tribute. Tribute, should it prove satisfactory, shall earn you the favor of the sun. His beloved shall bask in his radiance, and their supplications be duly considered. So you want us to bow down and serve you? What if we don't feel like it? The Defiant will suffer in shadow. It would be an affront to the resplendent Azim himself to refuse this generous offer when by rights you should be condemned. But in lieu of tribute, swear fealty to the sun. Pledge to him your body and soul. Promise to serve him unto death, and you may know his glory. A generous offer granted to but few, though perchance this is too merciful. Hmm. It seems our brothers of the Budaga want you. The men only. Like the Borlak and women, 
Though you know them not either, I'm sure. No matter. All you need know is that you will serve one way or another. That much does indeed seem plain. However, as we are but newborn warriors who know little of your customs, we struggle to conceive of ways in which we might be of service to the most gracious and illustrious son. You make mock of us, Doman. Do not do so again. You will be given a task. It will be difficult. You will carry it out. When you have accepted this, you may ask me what it is. So we're going to find out what his uh, bottom bitch, Batu, I guess is his name. Probably butchering the pronunciation of his name. Let's see. Okay. Yep. So I'm diving into a place and gathering some weed, I guess. Okay. I mean, it's not that bad because I was reading what some of the other characters had to do. Uh, Lise has to go milk cows. Poor thing. Um, I think Hien has to tell stories and uh, Gusetsu has to, I think, fix stuff. Fix swords specifically. He has to be a weaponsmith. So I guess digging for weeds isn't that big of a deal. Yes, let me go downstairs, please. Also, the architecture of this place is amazing. There's literally, like, a Zela all raw face as, like, part of the mountain, which is incredible. I hope this cutscene has talking. And it doesn't. Guy's a bastard.
Okay, so essentially we get sold into some kind of servitude. No, <laughs> not quite, but we get to learn a little history about the Zela here. Um, <laughs> not really servitude, more like slavery. The idea behind this was uh, Hien wanted to come here to get a little reconnaissance going. Um, maybe since the Orinir are the ruling clan currently, uh, maybe why not come here to learn about their fighting styles and learn a little bit more about them. Yeah, this, this is just kind of turning into... <sighs> just a little bit of go fetch things. You know, MMO stuff, but it's okay. So we'll speak to this elder and actually, I kind of want to learn more about the all realm. So I'm completely fine with this. I might move the speech bubble a little bit. I think my camera, my webcam might be getting in the way. What ill fortune has befallen you? Oh yeah. So he and got us sold into slavery or something. Oh, we gotta go. Oh. Is will this actually have fighting in it? little lamb. I jumped off a cliff to save your ass. And you weren't even fucking there. I hope you're happy. Hey, Hien. What the fuck are you doing? Well, since we were just told this... This is probably not true, since we heard it from Hien. Okay. So... The God of the Sun and the Goddess of the Moon were lovers. Can't move it. Kind of a sweet story. It's sad, but it's sweet.
All right, let's get this party started. I have been waiting far too long for this. I see you, soil bearers. been scattered and the step reborn sanctified and unbound she calls for a new Han go forth and claim her Dothal and bring death to all who bar your way It begins, Grandmother. I must say, it's been a while. <sighs> Is everyone ready? <laughs> a samurai is always ready! You shall remember this soon enough, once I have taken to the field! So we take on all comers, and then it's off to Joma. I can't wait. <laughs> Thank you, my friends. Upon the soil of one and all shall our deeds be inscribed. She sounds high. Has anyone else noticed that? Oh, a race. Okay. Grant us favor, O oh Mother of the Dusk, and to victory, guide them all! Making sure my mic is on. <laughs> my mom started screaming at me about the heater, because it's freezing, right? I'm like, in like socks and boots and shit. Okay. Oh, so wait. Forward! Forward! I know. Alright, unmount. Fucking. These bastards. He's like naked aura men. <laughs> I think one of them wished uh, for me to die just so they, they could like sell Hian into slavery. I'm not kidding, this was an actual thing. Do we really have to stop all of these motherfuckers? Probably spamming Holy Whip is the best idea to go. And going White Mage is probably not the best idea either. I 
And not bringing Cleric's Dance is probably not the best idea either. this thing Fucking chicken with its head cut off. See it. <sighs> yeah, they're just gonna spawn endlessly until I find the damn thing. Well, is there any more fighting going on? Glad I brought my healer. to do? Oh, derp. Alright, so... Alright, once I have the ability to... Come on, nothing else attack me, nothing else attack me, please. Please! Oh, come on.
Rise, brothers of the sun! Know your place! Before me, leave this one to me. You've got to be kidding me, right? Oh, no. I need to attack. What the fuck am I doing? The sun cannot be extinguished. I think we got it now. Or not. <laughs> this is a bit of a clusterfuck. There we go. To her eyelashes. The step has spoken. Then the horn is. We have won. The mole have won. The dawn throne is ours. We did it. And you, my friend, you, you were magnificent. Magnificent and uh, not a little terrifying. Uh, terrifying at targeting myself and, um, not using arrow on the right fucking thing. Yeah. What a strange tale this has become. To think I suffered them to live.
On your guard, Utun. The wind warns of men in iron. Is the Empire really gonna show up now? I thought I'd find you here, Aeosian! Dearest of all my enemies! Today's the day I finally get to kill you! And then they'll give me a shiny medal and my choice of posting! Bloody perfect it is! I hate his fucking voice. Well, go on then! Kill her! Kill them all! Dearest of all his enemies, eh? Congratulations. Hearken to me, honored warriors of the steppe! Our enemies intrude upon this sacred ground! Have you yet the strength to oppose them?! You forget to whom you speak, Doman. We are the Undying Ones. We are Dothal! If this be the will of the Mole and their Han, so be it. The Sun shall abide by the law of the Steppe. Hopefully I get to redeem myself for being such a fucking shit before. Time to get serious! Challenge you. Mark well and learn. All right, got the weapon. Time to kill him. For you, father. Let us be about it! I need to get my lilies up. Let not be left in our wake! Dying a little too quickly. <laughs> 
I hate you! I hate you! Yeah, but she has Meteor, so Meteor wins, motherfucker. I guess you're getting a demotion now. How's it feel? Impossible! She was there for the taking! What do I have to do? I need more men, more weapons, more power! As if we'd lose to the likes of him. And we're only going to get stronger. Stronger and stronger until we're strong enough to take back everything they stole. I have kept my promise, Serena. They are yours to command. Oh, yes, of course. Brothers and sisters of the Steppe, the Nardom is ended, and we Mull now claim the Dawn Throne. No demands shall we make of you, save these. Heed our comrades' words, and honor the law of the Steppe. Before I fought for the Mall, I fought for my homeland, for Doma. To Doma, would you have us go to fight your war and win your freedom? Very well. The battlefield matters not, nor else the enemy. In battle do our souls burn bright. And better the Mole's law than that of the sun. Arrogant and foolhardy were their pronouncements. Already you and yours show better sense. The sun shall answer your call, Doman. Wild as the wind the Atun and her brood may be, but they will deliver you naught. We will deliver you your kingdom. <laughs> Weak and few as we are, the Mole will fight for Doma too, if you will have us. Well then. I believe not remains but to return to Doma at the head of a Zela army, my lord. I cannot wait to see the look on Yugiri's face. Nor I. We shall depart as soon as our forces are assembled and rejoin our comrades. And then, my friends, we shall bring freedom to the people of Doma! Sorry, I had to shut my mic off there. I was getting yelled at. But I think that's a good place to end it. So we won the Nodum. And I will see you guys later.